but we're doing it uh, in such a way that it's an agribusiness, so okay. that the 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 the, the the interns or, or the, the, um, the, the youth will have to learn also management practice, practices and financial practices so they can sell, they can account and in future pay back certain things, uh, such some of the income that they, 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 they've made. Uh, we started this program uh, in 2016, but like I said, Unfortunately, in 2017, we had to change the management because the previous management was the one that the government inherited, and we had to bring in, based on the reforms, we had to bring in new sets of people. Of course, we retained some, but we had to change almost all the managing directors and a lot of the executive directors. And uh, the situation stalled a little bit because they needed to get their acts together. Uh, now we have, uh, at that material time, we are also discussing with Songhai Farms in, uh, in uh, Kotonu, and we are now fused, we have now fused the youth empowerment program with the Songhai program because it provides training for sustainable irrigation. And that is what is going on now. Almost, in fact, all the river days in development authorities have in their 2017 budget, we made sure that they made provision in the 2017 budget. And many of them are already working with the Songhai team, uh, trying to create uh, uh, these, uh, 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 you know, uh, experimental farms and uh, you know, for the training of the of the youth, and this we want to continue. Uh, we have started now as pilots. Some river bases have one or two, but the whole idea is in future we'll continue to work until we have at least one Songhai model school in each of the 109 senatorial districts of the country. Talk to me about irrigation. Uh, I did ask you earlier about the irrigation policy because I know that your mm -hmm. ministry also collaborates with other ministries like um, agriculture, environment and all of that. So you, you, you are manning a ministry that you've got to talk with your colleagues in other ministry. Mm -hmm. let, let me ask you about your collaboration first before we go into irrigation. Well, well we collaborate very much, uh, Ministry of Agriculture of course, under the irrigation system, uh, in the sector where we, we have a lot of collaboration. I'm sure the quantum leap we have had in rice production would not have happened without the river basins because a lot of the land that is being uh, irrigated uh, it's, a, it's, 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 it's river basin land and river basin dams uh, and that's why we want to accelerate this irrigation program. The policy uh, is there. Uh, I think the main feature of the policy is <coughs> that we now want to empower farmers before it used to be that the federal government or state government will just come and build an irrigation scheme and will be the ones managing everything and the farmers have no say but now under the new concept farmers will have a say we will retain the dams, the major canals but the secondary and tertiary canals will be in the hands of the farmers uh, and uh, we will group them with what you call water user associations okay. so now farmers have, a right, have a good, uh, some say in how the irrigation systems are being managed in the country. That is one major for, uh, issue in that policy. Then as to the irrigation program that we have developed, uh, we, we realized that we have 3.14 million hectares of available land in this country for irrigation. So far, 3.14 million. million hectares uh, of uh, irrigable, irrigable land, land in the country. Uh, that's just irrigation, not the entire arable mm, land. Yeah. So far, federal government has only developed all these years and only 130,000 hectares. Out of these 130,000 hectares, probably half of that is not functional because uh, systems are broken down, maybe dams have dried up, the canals. Uh, in one of the largest schemes we have, the, the Kano River Irrigation Project, for instance, which is supposed to be 15,000 hectares, one third, 5,000 hectares is lost during the dry season. Water doesn't get there. So we have the trimming project, which is being yeah. financed by the World oh, Bank. Uh, yeah, which the trimming project is a $495 million program, program that is going to expand, rehabilitate and expand the irrigation to about 50,000 50, hectares. That is one. So that's been captured in, the, uh, in our irrigation program. But the whole idea is that by 2030, we should have under government, uh, you know, control 
government should have been able to uh, expand the irrigation from 130,000 to 500,000 hectares. Then we have in the Benue and Niger basins alone, 1.8 million hectares is available for irrigation. So we are also saying, we are trying to encourage the private sector, large-scale large commercial farmers to take advantage of this so that we can put in between now and 2030 another 1 million hectares in the hands of commercial farmers. So this is what the program is all about. Uh, we hope that uh, before, by the year 2020, we would have increased the hectares by another 100,000 hectares. So by 2020, maybe we'll have like 230,000 hectares uh, or close to that because some of it may also be part of some of the hectares that has been lost that we need to recover. And then we move on from 2020 to 2025, another 270,000, and then from 2025 to 2030, we have the rest. So that's the plan. Uh, we're working very hard on it, and uh, we're very grateful because uh, uh, even recently, the, the president approved additional funding for the irrigation sector uh, outside the budgetary provision from the, the Natural Resources Fund, okay. so that will continue to to, to work on that. Okay. Uh, you just talked about your collaboration with agriculture uh, because we also do know that you also need to provide even water for dry season farming. Absolutely. How, how, how is that going? Well, there is a challenge. Uh, we're doing the best we can. Uh, as you know, you might have seen in the news recently that I was in Goronyo, for instance. Uh, Goronyo is one of our flagship dams, one of our flagship irrigation systems, the, called the Middle Rima Irrigation Project. But the dam dried up this year, uh, uh, amazingly, and it, a lot of it has to do with uh, climate, climate change, change. Uh, because the rains are not coming. Uh, also, a lot of siltation due to deforestation. There, there's no, and there hasn't been efficient watershed management over the last uh, uh, several years. Uh, so we are having some dams that were built and left lying unused for 20 years, for 50 years, and uh, that has been a problem. But we are, we are moving. We, will, we know that uh, the agriculture program, the new agriculture policy will not survive very much without all year round farming. And the Ministry of Water Resources has to be around to provide this water. So we are also concentrating on finishing some of our dams. Uh, we inherited about 30 something ongoing dam projects. Uh, we're concentrating a lot on some of them to ensure that the, the, key, the most important ones, like, like I told you earlier, we're prioritizing. Okay, like the, which dams are you concentrating? The Kanjis, the Jebas? No, those are hydropower. Hydro, no, I, I would still yeah. come to power. Yes, a bit because yes. Because still, yeah. uh, Shiroro, mm, Jeba, mm. Kanji, a lot of them. No, what we are talking are the dams that have been built specifically for water okay, and irrigation. Yes. Uh, dams like Tiga, like uh, uh, Bakolori, like Goroyo, uh, like, uh, well, there are quite Again, a lot. There are over 200 dams that the, the, the ministry has already constructed over the years. So there are so many of them. Kampe Omi in, in, Kogi, in uh, Kogi State, and, and many others. In, uh, yeah, in, uh, even uh, in Oyo, uh, we have quite, uh, quite a number of dams. Uh, in Ogun State, we have them. Uh, in uh, Benin Owena River Basin, we have quite a number of dams. Uh, so there are so many of them, and uh, we want to maximize, uh, you know, the potentials of all these dams by opening all the lands for irrigation. And one of the key things we have asked the river basins to do, because over the years they have just been turned into agencies for uh, implementing constituency projects. Uh, way, way, way off their mandate. So now we've uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, instructed them that they must go back to agricultural, agriculture related projects, you know, complete their abandoned dam projects, maintain irrigation systems, and every year each river raising must come to the minister and report how many additional hectares of irrigation they have been able to bring uh, bring about. Uh, so we are working very hard with the, with the Ministry of Agriculture. We, we have to support them and uh, we have to provide the water and we have to clear the land. In addition, uh, 
some of these river basin uh, irrigation systems, they, you know, they 